Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to learn whether the given string is palindrome or not. That is, uh, you know what is palindrome actually. So palindrome is nothing but whatever the string uh, you will give. That is, if I give a string like madam. Uh, so what is palindrome? Even though if you will check from front to back or back to front, it will give the same pronunciation. Like ma'am, mom, madam, pal, uh, malayalam. So all these are, uh, even if you'll read from the front, it will give the same meaning. And even if you'll start from back uh, to and you come from come to front, it will give the same, right? So such uh, strings are nothing but your palindromes or palindrome strings you'll call. So we need to check whatever the string you will give, it should tell whether that particular word is palindrome or not. So that is what here we are doing. So in this. Uh, uh, what we are trying to do is you are trying to calculate, uh, sorry, compare the string literals. Each and every string literal you will be comparing with the other one and you will check out whether it is equal or not. That is, if first value is M and then last value also should be M. So like that. If it is uh, until and unless it is uh, not equals to, then you will come out of that uh, particular loop and you will tell it is equal, I mean, whether it is palindrome or not right so that is what we will try to do the actual logic that we are following here so care string uh, so stdio dot h and string dot h because we are trying to take the length and then uh, you are doing a you are taking a character uh, sorry character array of string one of size 20 and then i length and some temporary variable flag and i'm assigning value of flag to zero so if suppose my condition is true it will make my flag value as one right or else it will make my flag value as zero and it will tell it is not a palindrome so first i'm asking user to enter string so i'm reading that into string one and then you are uh, reading that whole length so string length of string one so whatever the value you will give that's length will be stored into the variable length for i is equals to zero for the first time i is less than length because we are starting from zero then you will enter into the if loop then here what you'll do is string one of i that is string one of zero at the position if it is not equals to string one of uh, length minus i minus one right that is the second one of the second digit of your from the reverse one right if it is equals to then what we will tell we will that we will tell that it is equal and then you will make it a flag value as one if it is not equals and then you will break and then again you will come and check out the increment the i value so now what it will become so you will move to the second string that is second uh, digit or the second variable and then again you will compare from the back side and also from the front side whenever you will tell that it is not equals to then you will tell that it is a palindrome right so if if your flag value will become one then you will tell it is not a palindrome if it is both are equal then you will tell it as a palindrome string right print f see flag one is there it is not a palindrome that is your string one or else you will tell that the given string is palindrome when you will tell if the first and last is not equal to then you will make your flag value as one if they are equal you don't make any changes into that flag value right so that is what here we are using the logic after else we'll just quit from your main and returning to the main function right so let us compile the code no errors execute that code I'm giving first mom. Yes, mom is a palindrome. And if not palindrome, what will happen? I'll give mon. So mon is not a palindrome. So what we are trying to do? We are trying to do flag variable. And you are trying to compare the first string, uh, first character of the string and the last character of the string. If they are not equal to, then you will make your flag value to one. Or else your flag value will be zero and simply you'll just print it as a palindrome, right? So this was a small program uh, which will be asked in many exams also, but it is important, okay? So that's all for this video. Thank you all.